Good Saturday evening, everyone. Burke Weather Meteorologist Scotty Powell here. It's about 310. I'm going to give you a weekend update weather-wise. And right now, you can see the current conditions over the upstate of South Carolina, western North Carolina, back into uh, Georgia and Alabama. Uh, right now, we're currently seeing some cloud cover move into the area. Uh, Morganson at 61, Hickory 61. A mild day up in the mountains of North Carolina, 61 degrees up in Boone and Jefferson, even down in Asheville. As we can move uh, over into the uh, Piedmont of North Carolina, we'll see 63 in Charlotte, 64 in Concord. Uh, out towards the coast, we got some mid-60s as well. But as we move uh, down into uh, northern Georgia, upstate of South Carolina, we'll start seeing some more cloud cover, some cooler temperatures as we have 50s uh, in the Atlanta area. And then uh, down into Alabama, cloudy throughout the uh, the state with a lot of rain down in the uh, southern part, Alabama towards Montgomery and Troy. Uh, and we're going to see that heavy rain actually move into the area overnight tonight and throughout the day tomorrow and even portions of Monday as well. Let's go to the uh, radar here and look at that. This is the uh, simulated radar here. We're going to kind of start off right here about uh, 4 o'clock. Uh, within the next hour so as you can see the rain developing in the uh, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama. As you can see um, radar is actually, uh, the simulated radar is actually not picking up on all the rain down here in the southern portions of Alabama so uh, we'll have to watch that as well and then as we uh, go through the evening and the overnight hours we're going to stop it right here. Uh, this is about uh, 10 p.m see that rain really developing over the part uh, portions of Alabama and Mississippi. Some heavy rain, actually some flash flood uh, watches out for uh, portions of Alabama. Uh, nothing here in the uh, the Carolinas, and I don't suspect we'll see any watches for our areas as uh, the rain's just not going to be quite as heavy here as it is in the uh, portions of Alabama. We'll scroll on through. Uh, this is uh, midnight, uh, 1 a.m., here, as you can see, that rain's now moving into the uh, northern parts of Georgia and then the upstate of South Carolina. We'll stop it right here about uh, 3 a.m., 4 a.m. A lot of rain now in the upstate of South Carolina, portions of western North Carolina, uh, Mississippi, and Alabama as well. A lot of heavy rain still back over Alabama. That's why uh, they're seeing some flash flood watches in, in that area. So uh, we'll scroll it on through until... Uh, um, Pick it up 4 a.m., 5 a.m., still some rain uh, in the area. Let's uh, forward to about 9 a.m. As you can see, a lot of scattered showers, but as you can see, the majority of the rain has actually moved up into the uh, Tennessee Valley area, up into Tennessee, uh, Kentucky, portions of uh, Ohio and West Virginia. So I think we'll be on the southern end of that rain. I don't think we'll see a lot of heavy rain in our area. Uh, this is 11 a.m., 12 p.m. as people are uh, leaving church. Uh, some scattered showers still in the area, 1, uh, 1 p.m., excuse me, 2 p.m., still some scattered showers throughout the area. But then as we uh, reach 3, 4, 5 o'clock, we'll start to see that rain come to an end. We may even see a few peaks of sunshine uh, in the western Carolinas. We'll just have to see how lucky we can get and how uh, thick that cloud cover is. Uh, but then as we uh, move through the uh, Sunday night hours into Monday morning, we'll see the actual cold front now. Uh, draped over the uh, state of Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, Tennessee. That's going to make its uh, uh, track towards the Carolinas. This is about 1 a.m., 2 a.m. Uh, Monday morning. We'll see that cold front move through, so we'll see some more rain. But uh, the encouraging sign is, is this is 10 a.m., 11 a.m. We see that front actually move through the area, so we should see uh, portions of Monday uh, after the uh, lunchtime hour. should see some sunshine in the area. Uh, probably going to be a little breezy and start to cool off as uh, that cold uh, air from the northwest comes in. Wouldn't even be surprised to see some northwest flow uh, in the mountains of North Carolina. So uh, let's kind of look at the uh, per, uh, possibility of precipitation here. This is a uh, this is what we call the metogram, and uh, this is uh, showing you all the model outputs of rainfall. And as you can see, we could see anywhere from a quarter inch of rain to up to 1.2 inches of rain. I don't think we'll see that higher end. But I do think we could pick up anywhere between a half an inch to maybe even three quarters of an inch of rain um, starting tonight, lasting through Monday morning. And then uh, temperature-wise, we'll scroll down here. You can see the temps are going to be in the, uh, the actually going to be mild uh, with the 50s uh, throughout Monday. And then we start to see that descend in temperatures 
uh, next week as we could see some highs in the 40s and upper 30s as well. So we're also watching a pr particular situation uh, developing the end of next week. Nothing really uh, set with that. We could uh, see some more active weather in that uh, that particular part of the uh, the week. So we'll keep an eye on that right now. But for the uh, foreseeable future of some rain moving into the area, I don't think that it's going to be too heavy. But I wouldn't be surprised to see some pockets of heavy rain. So I'm Burke Weather Meteorologist Scotty Powell. Hope you have a great Saturday afternoon. Enjoy what's left of these mild temperatures as we start to see rain move into the area tomorrow.